Salutations, I'm Just a Mike, and welcome back to this thing. I forgot the name of this thing. I need to make sure my wire isn't getting pinched or, or too, too damaged. It looks alright. That's what happened with the previous microphone, or at least that's, that's the current guess. Can't say current theory because I mean people know what's happened, but like the, 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 a theory is a very scientifically rigorous process, uh, and and it, it it does a disservice to the intelligence of mankind to just uh, create a shield. Okay, cool. It does a disservice to the intelligence of mankind to... Oh, fuck! To undermine the word theory. It's... It's what's led to the... It's actively led to distrust in scientific establishment. Which, kind of fair. Like, nothing should be above questioning. But the basis of the scientific establishment is to question things. If someone could prove wrong a scientific theory, they would be in textbooks forever. Well, not forever, eventually humanity will die off. I mean, I don't want to think about it, but, like, the universe does eventually have to stop expanding. When it stops expanding, it will start contracting. And then we're going to be squeezed like, like a grape in a butthole. That's, that's disgusting, but you know what? Why not? And, and that's, that might not even be the case. Like, I, I might be oversimplifying it, because I am not a scientist. I do not purport to know the reality of all of this. Like, I would be naive to. And, and why am I going down this path? I didn't even intend to talk about science today. I wanted to talk about movies. <laughs> well then, I'll with, out with it. Where shall I send you next? Uh... I'm just gonna go in chronological, well, left to right order, just reading it. You sure you're willing, you want to go to the Exploratorium? Or yeah, sure, whatever, easy, you little snot nose brat. Um, and the reason I want to talk about movies is because this morning I watched an interesting video about something that was removed from the Lorax movie. Like, the 2012 Illumination Studios Lorax movie that made me think, hey, we could have gotten something great. Like, legitimately great. Something that was that was true to the spirit of Dr. Seuss. And, ironically enough, although it's not talked about in his review of it, Nostalgia Critic does hit on the note that it is corporations trying to make it popular for everyone, that did, in fact, ruin the movie. There was this song called Biggering, and it it sounds like a slur, gonna be honest, uh, but it's not. It's, it's just, it's about the one slur singing about expanding his company, making it bigger. Or figuring it. They, they way to do it. Oh, it sounds off. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's. And you can find the song. It's on YouTube with the full storyboard and everything. And just to watch it, it's it's so interesting. And the reason I find it believable, the reason that I believe that this could be something that was produced for the actual movie 
is that there are some lines that are shared between it and the song that replaces it, which is how bad can I be? Because everything else is everything else is somewhat questionable. Like even the fact that I barely learned about it now, it, it makes it sound like it might have been tough. Uh, and, and that is a legitimate concern with with things, because you just can't trust everything you see or hear from anyone anymore, because then you have to question where they got it from. And oftentimes, it's not reliable sources. Not the most reliable sources anymore. Like, There was a study done on, on news going around Facebook groups, and, and how much of it was correct. And the conclusion was that among news that favored Democrats, 20% of it was wrong. And that is a big fucking number, and it's something that you should be worried about. And I know that not completing it is, is wrong of me, but I... I don't know the exact numbers on how much was right-wing news and how much of those were lies, but I do remember that it was greater than 20%, but that is besides the point. I do not want to start a political discussion here. I simply want to say, trust but verify. It's a phrase I've heard used repeatedly, and it is one that I agree with, and I need to get better at as well. I... I did not seek out a first-hand source that said that this was from the Lorax, to be honest. And I probably could have done better with that. It, this seems like a silly thing to, to harp on, because it's just a song from the Lorax. But it's... it's something to be aware of. Uh, and, and misinformation, it, it's easy to believe, because as the world shares more and more information, it feels as though less and less can be trusted. Like, not just of the information, but just of each other. And, yeah, that's, that's kind of true. Just because we live in the information age doesn't mean that information is correct. And just because information sounds wrong doesn't mean it's wrong. And I'm not the person to talk about this, in all honesty. I... I'm some kid. Well, I guess I'm not a kid anymore. I'm an adult, legally. Another couple months here, and I'll be able to drink. But that's. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. I I believe I tend to. I tend to drag on, and and points get lost because of things I want to say don't come. Across. And it results in miscommunication, which is a real issue. Miscommunication can actually be more dangerous than... well, no. I don't honestly believe that misinformation can be more dangerous than, than people outright lying to you. Like... It, it, 
it can be more dangerous to you as the individual saying it. Because then people will use that as an excuse to discredit you forever. And that isn't fair. That isn't right. But as Hoggle from the Labyrinth movie says, life isn't fair. And that... I feel that that's true. Life isn't fair. I just want to make it equally unfair for everyone. And that isn't by dragging people down, I believe. That way we can all wallow in less suffering together. This has really gotten away from me. I, I don't even know what direction I'm going anymore. I wanted to talk about the Lorax movie <laughs> from Illumination Studios. The fuckers that brought us minions. I, I'm not a big fan of minions. My sister is though, and I, I she might be watching this. Up. I don't, I don't want to be too rude to her. Like they, they have appeal. If they didn't have some form of appeal, they would not be as popular as they are now, and we wouldn't have had so many movies focusing on them, or Facebook memes, or really anything. They would have fallen by the wayside, kind of like rabbits are a little. And apparently the movie Biggering as well, not movie, but the song Biggering, like... The, the fucking... It came out in 2012, and I barely found out about Biggering now. Eh. And I, I've listened to it five times. Like, this, this song is a real fucking bomb. I shared it with my friends in our Discord not long ago. I hope they listen. If they don't, that's that's a okay. regardless, there will be a link to the the video I specifically was looking at, which is the storyboards for it, plus the song. Uh that'll be in the iCard. Maybe the end screen? Probably not. I usually get lazy with those. Show yourself. I've come to offer you the position of court alchemist to the Enchantress. Join us and our army of invincible knights. Oh, you don't say. Sounds important. Invisible knights? Tell me more. Hehehehe. Ha 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 ha! Boom! You're clearly not paying attention. Perhaps my scythe will get through. Really? Dead but not forgotten. I suppose it, isn't that gone but not forgotten? Mm, dead but not forgotten. Who cares? Um, but yeah. Is this flashback then? 
It's flashback time! This video is gonna be a bonus little longer! Ah, wah, wah. Might not be a little longer, it might be a lot longer. This is a hard fight from what I remember. Let's break camp. We can't reach the pinnacle by day's end. We can reach the pinnacle by day's end. I can already sense his power over life and death. It shall be ours soon. Reap your rewards. Money, 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 money! It's me, Waluigi. Listen to me, Waluigi. I am your friend. You are my friend. You are my V. Uh -huh. Copyright strike probably at this point Although I can't sing correctly Ruin the flow uh, Who knows what's happening I am a little scared uh, Oh no Lemon meringue, lemon meringue, lemon meringue pie, lemon meringue. Is, is that the amulet? It's ours, finally. Stay where you are. That amulet has powers far beyond your control. I am here to destroy it once and for all. But I seek only protect to protect my son. My intentions are pure. Protect him then by fleeing this place and never looking back. <laughs> if you want it for yourself, you can't fool me. Luan, would you do the would you do the honors? Just a moment. If what she's saying is true then might we be a bit more cautious? You would let some pompous knight tell us what we can and can't take? Who is this busybody anyway? I am Shield Knight, and I will not let you pass! Huh? Shield Knight is a hard fight in this one. I tried crouching under it. Really? I attacked into it. I usually think I'm a little bit more invulnerable when I'm attacking into something. Oh dear. What the fuck? Red bouncing balls of furious rage. <sighs> well get a sense for the fight, so. Come on, I jumped over her! Jesus Christ, you are a jumpy motherfucker. I wish you wouldn't. This is a very close fight. This is a very close fight. I might be able to take it this time. I might take it this time. Nope. That does one full pip of damage. Cool. Know that for the future now.
Third tries the charm. God damn it. These slashes are so inconsistent. Come on! I die. I was supposed to. I was trying to, but clearly I didn't. But I was trying to diagonal slash right into it. Usually I'm a little more invulnerable to things that I'm dashing into. Okay, that one, that one was just great timing for her attack. Oh, cool! Third time is the charm. Man, fuck this fight. Donovan, the tower crumbles around us. We must leave at once. I never knew you as a coward, Luan. Who will leave once we have our prize? Stay away. You meddle with forces you don't understand. You do not understand. Please, Donovan, I'm begging you. Leave the amulet. It's not worth it. Never. Out of my way! Dick. And you. You won't stop me. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's the button to pull up the menu. Okay. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to take care of yourselves and have fun another day. I hope to talk to you about the Lorax then. <laughs>